hi welcome to another video and in this video I'm gonna tell you five things that reading does to your brain so what reading does to your brain actually and what happens uh, in your brain while you read and uh, how is it changing uh, and how reading changes the brain so uh, let's start right away and the uh, first first thing that reading does is uh, it improves your memory so of course reading is one of the best ways to learn so in school and when we study for the exams we read and then that's how we try to remember some uh, some things some facts and uh, that's uh, actually perfect way to to remember of course it's not the best way to learn and reading itself is not the only thing uh, you should do and uh, to remember uh, the most amount of information but uh, when you read that's a great first step for improving your memory and uh, actually uh, improving your capacity of remembering more and more information. So when you read, you're actually uh, uh, imp inputting those information in your brain and um, some of them are going to stick, some of them are not going to stick. Uh, you can watch this video where I showed uh, how, to rem how to get the most out of the books. There, are, there I show some, some good uh, principles but uh, for this exact uh, situation like when you read uh, you as uh, the more you read the more you will uh, like r remember more information so when you practice reading often then uh, you will uh, start remembering more and more information and uh, you'll find yourself one day that after reading for 10 minutes you literally can re uh, remember everything you have read in that in the last 10 15 minutes because you are uh, practicing that a lot and you're really like soaking in a lot of those information and so that's the, the reason uh, why reading improves your memory. Second thing that reading does to you and to your brain is uh, it relieves stress. So when you read you need to focus and you need to like uh, be present in this very moment and that's actually what uh, what is the best way to uh, get rid of stress. So the most popular like tip for uh, getting rid of stress is uh, like be present in this moment so uh, some people like prefer to do that uh, with uh, breathing with meditation but that as well can be done uh, with reading because when you read you have to be present in this moment you have to uh, focus on the words and text and as you read as you go through the story uh, if you're reading some some novel some story you're gonna be like uh, soaked in into the into the story you're gonna like really a uh, deep dive into the story and then you're gonna be really present in this moment and that's why uh, that's how you're gonna get rid of stress so that's one really like huge benefit if you're um, maybe anxious if you have some uh, stress problems if you're worrying a lot reading can really help you to uh, calm down to maybe forget about that for for some time and to really like be present in this very moment but when we're speaking of focus that's the third thing that uh, reading does to your brain, it improves your focus. So when you read, you actually have to be really focused on reading. So you can't read and think about maybe uh, planning the trip or think about your work or maybe doing something or cooking or something like that. You really have to be focused on reading and only on reading. So reading impro improves your focus because you really have to put all your at attention into that text, into that book and as you read you only have to think about what you're reading about and as you read more and more you're gonna find yourself that you need uh, less and less time to focus and to really uh, get into that deep work state uh, because the more you read the more you're gonna like practice that and the uh, faster you're gonna get into that uh, fully focused state. So. Uh, because uh, that that's gonna help you like when you're working uh, you need some time to get into the workflow and into the deep work state and uh, if you practice reading the similar thing is happening there because uh, you need some time to get into that reading flow but the more you read the more uh, th you're gonna be quicker into that in, into uh, you're gonna be quicker in falling into that uh, flow reading flow state and uh, that's how you're actually improving your focus and uh, because you practice reading, uh, you, you're forcing yourself to focus and that's how your focus is actually being improved. So uh, reading is one really great way to, to improve, your, improve your focus. 
and to actually be more present in this very moment. Fourth thing that uh, reading does to your brain is uh, improves empathy and actually teaches you how to think and relate. So uh, because uh, when you read, especially when you read uh, some like story or biography, maybe novel, uh, you actually have to, you really uh, can relate to that person. You uh, it teaches you to to uh, get into those uh, that per person's shoes and to see uh, things from their point of view and then you really understand and you can relate to them uh, and you understand how what they have been through and uh, you understand what problems they uh, the person had and uh, it actually makes you think it forces you to think and it, it actually teaches you to think uh, with your head with your own brain and that you think uh, not only about yourself and with your about your own problems but to actually understand other people when you're uh, later talking to someone to really be uh, empathetic and to understand uh, what's going on on the other side of the, of the coin. And the last, the last fifth thing that reading does to your brain is uh, actually strengthens the brain. So it's actually reading is like a training for the brain. So uh, if we have like, for example, training in the gym is training your muscles, but training for your brain is reading and uh, that's why like reading is one of the best uh, the best ways to train uh, your your brain and uh, reading actually strengthens your brain and it actually gives you uh, those information i like to call that dots so like you have uh, each piece of information is one dot and the more dots you have uh, the more connections you're going to be able to make because uh, when you have uh, one dot and then uh, there are no other dots uh, in the brain there you you can't connect uh, that dot with any other and you can't get the new realizations and to some new ideas but the more dots you have uh, the more uh, you can connect those dots and do those dots can connect all with one another and that's how you get to new ideas new uh, new some new topics and that's how you actually learn how to think and you have uh, some more moral actually concepts in your brain and you can talk about uh, more different ideas more more things and that's how you, you strengthen your brain because when you read you are actually inputting those uh, dots dot inform those informations and you're strengthening your brain and you are automatically connecting those dots and becoming actually actually smarter and training your brain so those are five things that reading does to your brain i hope this was helpful and this inspired you to start re start reading start reading more and that you now have seen some benefits of reading and I hope you're gonna see those on your own. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.